Perry Thompson is going to be a problem for the SEC. In the world full of podcasts, he's the undisputed heavyweight champion of hot takes, an Auburn sports homer, master of the book, and message board legend. Get your buttons buttoned and your hats flattened because the Top Button Podcast is about to kick off. And you don't want to miss your courtside seat. Now, here's your host, Charlie Fox. Yes, sir. We're back. It's another episode of the Top Button Podcast. I'm your host, Charlie Five, and happy Monday. Happy Monday. Another week to dive into this Auburn football team, dive into recruiting, and just absolutely have fun and get after it. Uh, today, you know, the, the dead period is, is we're right in the heart of the recruiting dead period. So we're going to look at this raw Auburn roster. Recruiting news has slowed down a little bit. Uh, it's going to pick back up towards the end of the month. But let's go ahead and look a little bit deeper into this Auburn roster. Perry Thompson, height, weight, gains, things of that nature that you know I love talking about. Hulking, super teams. But before we get started, you know we got to give a shout-out to our boy, Ford Stokes, with retirement results presented by Active Wealth Management. Look, I met Ford Stokes in person this weekend. We hung out, had a great time. Uh, we talked a lot about the different options that he has to help uh, help you grow the hard-earned money that you've that you've earned and, and try to save uh, and help you get ready for retirement. Ford Stokes is the guy for that. Multiple different options, multiple different plans to help you close that 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 gap that you may that you may have. And if you don't even know if you may have that gap, you need to check them out at retirementresults.com forward slash plan, not backslash forward slash plan. Uh, and he can give you that free portfolio analysis, 401k analysis, whatever. He's going to help make sure that you got what you need to have uh, and then give you some advice as far as where you need to go. So check him out. Great guy, Ford Stokes, retirement results, presented by Active Wealth. You can catch him pretty much everywhere. Uh, and stay tuned because we may have a video uh, very soon together that dives even further into all of this. All right, let's talk, let's talk gains. I love, you, you know me, I love, I love jersey numbers and I love height, weight gains. Uh, and some of the more recent roster updates that once these kids got enrolled really were eye-opening. Uh, and I, honestly, Perry Thompson is the one that kind of jumps out the most to me. Uh, you're talking about a kid who, uh, you know, early enrollment, early enrollment is sort of the norm now. You, you know, most of the time kids are going to enroll the in, in December, January. Go ahead and get in the program, get in the weight room, go through a spring. So they're sort of under the supervision of the coaching staff early. You know, they're, when they should still be in high school. Perry Thompson, for whatever reason, wasn't able to enroll early. He enrolls in June. So his gains to me are more impressive th than anybody, M more impressive than anybody on the team. And here's why you know, when you're not an early enrollee, the coaching, st the Auburn coaching staff can't really have any eyes on you, can't really have any. Uh, there's there's not a lot of accountability. There's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of dudes that are the same level as you as from the weight room from physicality standpoint so it's really hard to get you to want to push yourself you know uh back when i was in high school i know it's different now but buddy of mine signed with alabama they sent him a binder you know he was he was a june enrollee they sent him a binder with a workout plan uh, i'm sure it's email video all kind of stuff now but that's it that's what that's what you have that's what you have and then it's just you it's it's what kind of person are you? Are you disciplined enough to uh, want when your when your buddies are going on spring break, when your buddies are hanging out on the weekends, when your buddies, your high school buddies, you're getting ready for prom, your high school guys, your friends are just laid back, hanging out. Football season's over. I'm done. We're done. You know, we're not going to college. We're not going to play college football. We're done. When you have that around you. And all you have is either a binder of, of workout uh, of workout plans, meal plans, or or it, if now today it's over email or video, whatever. That's all you got. That's all you got. So it just shows you what kind of person Perry Thompson is to show up on campus 
at 6'3", 222. Uh, I think as on his recruiting profile, he's just a little bit over 200 pounds, and he's absolutely jacked uh, and, and ready to go. I mean, the kid steps on campus behind the eight ball, and I put behind the eight ball in quotation marks just because – some of his other predis- some of the other uh, wide receivers and stuff came in early. So he didn't have to he didn't have a chance to go through spring. He didn't have a chance to go through the college weight room process for a whole offseason. Uh, and he shows up that much that much further kind of behind than everybody else. But he shows up in SCC ready physic physical shape, physical uh, measurements. I mean, I, to me, that, that means he – he just Perry Thompson, just the drive of Perry Thompson uh, and and the will to, to get ready to come to Auburn. He's, he's not coming to sit. He's coming to play. He's coming to play right away. And having a dude that's 6'3", 222, uh, I mean, we already talked we, – we brag on Cam, Cam Coleman, who deserve it, obviously deserves it. He's around 6'3", 200. He's even bigger than Cam Coleman, who's already been here been through the weight program and everything. I just – that to me, you know, you you always – I think a lot of us worried that, you know, Perry Thompson was one of the guys that got this whole class kicked off. He was one of the more important signees last year for for numerous reasons. This You know, number one, just the, the idea that Auburn can go toe-to-toe with Alabama for a recruit. So that's number one. Uh, just getting a – a wide receiver of that caliber, which we haven't had in a very long time, number two. And then to be able to hold off Alabama, who tried so very hard to flip him back, uh, it was just – it was massive, uh, massive to get that kid. But then to see him, uh, you know, be able to to be this – have the self-discipline enough to be able to watch Cam, you know, come in early and get all the headlight – all the headlines – all the highlights, the 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 uh, spring game MVP, the touchdowns in the spring game, all the love, the five star. It didn't it didn't like uh, put a damper on him. It just made him work harder, and that to me, that that ought to excite you. That ought to excite you because he's coming in with a he's coming in motivated. He's coming in ready to re- ready to make something happen, uh, and. Just a mat like the last guy that's this caliber as far as from a physical build that Auburn's had was probably Duke Williams. Duke Williams, I think, was around 6'3, 200 to 15 to 220 pounds. And he was a physical freak. Like he would just bully defensive backs. And if and Perry, if Perry has that mindset, Perry also has something else that Duke didn't have, and that's breakaway speed. That's home run speed. So Perry Thompson, obviously, uh, I'm I'm just so excited to see this kid wearing number three, which is going to make him even faster. You know, single digits just make you faster than double digits, especially if you're in the 80s. You're number three, uh, wearing number three, going to be blazing fast at 6'3", 222, a grown man, super, a hulking super teen de- definition uh, as a true freshman. Uh, I mean, he's not <laughs> – if just basically just learning the speed and be and getting in getting in pads and just giving a couple of days to kind of get used to it that's all it took cam coleman it took him about three practices and then he took over it may only take perry that long and then you got you could possibly have for three years you could have perry thompson on one side cam coleman on one side both grown men six three 200 plus pounds just absolute dominant. I mean, this is DK Metcalf size. I mean, this is this is as as an eighteen year old. <laughs> I mean, it's just blow. It blows my mind that he he's coming in uh, that ready to go. So, and then the, Cam Coleman's not anything to sniff at. You know, comes in around six three one eighty, and he's pushing two hundred right now, one ninety seven. I mean, you got some physical freak offense uh, wide receivers on the outside that can absolutely just bully people, bully people. One on one with a with a 5'10, 190 pound DB. Give me that. Give me that matchup. Throw it up. Just throw it. You know how I love the 50 50 ball. I used, to, I used to say fade all the time. You know how I love the 50 50 ball. 50 50 with 6'3, 220. I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances there every time. 50 50 with 6'3, 200 on the other side. 
you dang right. Throw it up and let them go get it. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm going to be honest. I was a little bit worried. Uh, again, I talked about it. I, I was a little bit worried about the motivation, a little bit worried about the, you know, who's going to push him? Who's going to push him? We need him in September. We need him September 1st. Whenever the first game is, we need him that game. Who's going to be able to push him in January, February, March, all the way through until June? Who's going to who's gonna really push him to kind of get to where he is now? He didn't need anybody. He just needed Perry Thompson. Perry Thompson pushed Perry Thompson. That excites me. That gets me fired up for, uh, for the season because now it's not just all on Cam Coleman. It's not just all on Keandre Lambert-Smith. you got a full-grown man uh, ready to go attack the SEC in Perry Thompson, and, and, and I could not be more excited. That was the most electric height weight update that I think I've ever seen. I think I've the most electric high weight update that I think I've ever uh, like it's ever hit as hard uh, as this past one. So very much so looking forward to seeing Perry Thompson uh, wreck the SEC for the very near future. The very, you know, uh, hopefully as soon as the first game uh, and then the next uh, three years, next three seasons would be would be magical. So. Get excited for Perry Thompson. Get excited for all these wide receivers, but you know you got one. If you had any doubt from a physical standpoint, if he was going to be ready for the SEC, he's ready for the SEC. So wide receivers, wide receiver gains, something very, very exciting uh, to look forward to. Another freshman group that is just incredibly impressive. All of these guys enrolled early. All these guys got in the weight room. Even if you do enroll early, it still takes a little bit of a it still takes a little bit of maturity your first semester in college away from the parents to really lock in and get after it. You know, you, you got the there's there's certain periods where the coaches will have uh, you know have their hands on you during spring. Then workouts, a lot of times it's just you and the strength coach. And then you know, can you can you cut a corner here? Can you can you not finish a drip? Can you just survive? Can you just how do we just get through? That is that is something that young guys will always have to battle. But you got these three, you got at least there's a bunch of young defensive players, but these three defensive linemen, they're coming in ready to take a position. They're coming in to take somebody's job. And you don't have to look any further than the size that they are now going into uh, the these summer workouts and then creeping up on fall camp. I mean, it's going to be hard to get some of these guys off the field. TJ Lindsay, TJ Lindsay came in at 275 pounds. He's gained 20 pounds since being here. 6'3, 295. I mean, 6'3, 295 on the defensive line. I will take, I will take four of those every single year in a recruiting class. Uh, I'll take multiple of those. Uh, on the starting, like starting, I'll take I'll take that size and just replicate it multiple times. You know, you know, you maybe have to have that bigger plugger in the middle, but still, freak athlete, long, 6'3", 294, coming in and just hammering in the weight room and, and gaining those those good good pounds, reshaping his body. Uh, he's ready for the he's ready to play uh, in the SEC. I mean, again, there's some dudes ahead of him. There's there's some pretty Pretty staunch com competition, but TJ Lindsey is is ready to go. This is a guy, you know, we're, we're kind of talking about being in a recruiting lull. This is a guy that wasn't even really on the radar until later in, into the football season. So that's something to, to obviously think about as far if you're thinking about recruiting. This is a guy that came on late. This is a guy that, you know, was low on your 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 big boards as far as could we get him. And then all of a sudden you, you make an impression – Boom! He gets in, uh, gets in the class, and and people tried to pel uh, tried to poach him the whole time, and, and he kind of stuck in. So T.J. Lindsey, oh boy, that is a that is a big man, as a big eighteen year old uh, hulking super team that's that's ready to go. Uh, so that's got to get you excited because now you're starting off his career, starting off his career uh, at SEC physicality level as far as the way your body is shaped, the way your body is put together. First freshman year, ready to go. Uh, second one, Malik Blockton. 
one of the you know one of the solid dudes from the class last year that was sort of locked in for a while and you know Auburn legacy uh, but he comes in at 281 which to me was impressive in and of itself put on 10 good pounds at 291 another 63 290 plus kid I mean good luck keeping him off the field the kid has gotten rave rave reviews people that people that don't know Auburn that came to spring practice they say Who's that guy? Who is that guy? That's an SEC. That's the dude. That's a senior. That's a who is that guy? That that is that is a good looking dude right there. Just turns just so happens that kid's only 18 years old and he's just about to kick off his career at Auburn at 6'3, 290 plus. Kid is going to be a monster. Absolute monster. Coming in with a little bit of a chip, a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. I mean, he was a four star, but you know, a lot of people stole a lot of the spotlight. Your Maris Williams, even your TJ Lindsay's from a rankings perspective, maybe stole a little spotlight from him. This dude has come to play. He's come to play. Uh, and I'm I'm very, very excited. I mean, these are two guys that are the that could that are the anchors of this defensive line, and you have them for at minimum three years. I mean, at minimum, if you can keep them, you know, if you, if you have success and you don't have any issues uh, with the portal and things like that, you got these guys locked in for three years. That's just, uh, I mean, to me, that's that's you you can't hardly beat that. And then the last one we're going to talk about, and again, there's a ton you can talk about, but these these guys kind of jumped out to me. Uh, but Amaris Williams, I just kind of I just kind of hinted at it. Amaris Williams, okay. Amaris Williams came in you know, around 250 pounds, and he's already up to 270 as a pass rusher. As a pass rusher, true freshman, 18 years old, ready. to, And he's another one. You're going You're going to have to tranquilize him, tase him. Uh, you're going to have to do something to keep this kid off the field because he's coming. He's coming, and he's going to be in the rotation early. He's going to be in the rotation often. Uh, and already at 6'3", 270 pounds, and still a freak athlete. This kid played running back in high school and had about a million sacks. Running back and pass rusher, uh, and he's come in and he's put the work in. This is another kid when you're talking about recruiting. Oh, it's June. The, the sky is falling. This kid didn't jump in until December. This was one of those scenarios where I told you there's so many things that can happen between now and December that can play huge roles in recruiting. And, and this was a kid that was committed to Florida for a very long time. Uh, and the the Flor Florida season sort of started to tank. That recruiting class fell apart. This was one of them. That is something that can happen uh, in, a, in a blink of an eye. That is something that can happen so very easily. Uh, and don't think that the Auburn staff's not already got some guys sort of circled that says, hey, if something were to, you know, something were to happen, this is a guy that we can go get. Amaris Williams was that guy from last class. And it was honestly, it was like his name popped up out of nowhere, uh, came nowhere scheduled a visit towards the end of the middle to the end of the season. And then boom, everybody's like, man, we're gonna flip this guy. I mean, it, it's not official yet, but this guy's gonna flip to Auburn. And now he's here uh and he's absolutely uh jacked. Hulking super team number three, number well, I guess number five, based off of all the different guys I've talked about, but just action packed. And I mean, this is the caliber of athlete. You talk about these five guys I talked about today: Perry Thompson, Cam Coleman, uh, Malik Blockton, T.J. Lindsey, Amaris Williams. These are the guys that you see your rivals stacking up. These are the guys. These are these are high level SEC quality players and you see your rivals have 20 of them okay Auburn's starting to get those type of players that's this first, last class those are the type of players that Auburn just added to to their roster and they're they're here early and ready to play and you get to have them you get to mold them for multiple multiple years uh, and what you have to do is you have to continue to stack guys so that you continue to push those guys who are starting their freshman year off at SEC level bodies, you're able to continue to push them to get better in those SEC level bodies. So something to get excited about, something to watch. I mean, these five dudes, obviously, you know, Cam Coleman's going to play. He's, he's going to be your number one. How quick does Perry Thompson get up to speed? Not from a physical standpoint, but just learning 
how to how to separate against SEC level uh, corners, how to get open, how to learn learning the playbook, how quick it may it's probably not going to take very long. It's pro- and, and I think you're going to probably have some packages and stuff that are dedicated directly to getting him up to speed. Easy stuff that's like, hey, you can you can do this, you can do this right now, and we'll build on the, you know we'll build off the better stuff, but we got to get the ball in your hands, okay? And then. You brought in a bunch of transfer defensive linemen, older defensive linemen, to sort of be the leaders of this group because you're so talented, but you're young. Be the leaders of this group and help these young guys sort of take a step forward, take a step forward to ready to win next year. You don't have to go get five defensive linemen in the portal. You may only need to go get one or two, if that. Uh, and then you continually stack. Uh, continually stack these classes together, and you already have two really, really good interior lineman commits uh, that are of this caliber that we're already talking about with Jordan Crawford and Malik Autry. You hang on to them, maybe pick off one or two more, uh, and that would be two classes back-to-back, and then two and a half, because obviously you got Keldrick Falk in, in the class above, but two and a half classes of very high-caliber SEC-ready players that can play multiple years so it's definitely something to get excited about uh fall camp is going to kick off in probably a month or so uh the begin late end of july beginning of august and we'll get to see these kids putting pads on get practice reports and things find out where they land on the depth chart but i just got a feeling it's going to be hard to keep these kids off the field so hopefully that gets you fired up for this monday gets you ready for the week ready for the fourth of july weekend if you're on vacation i hope you're listening to this while you're sipping a a, a warm gl- a cup of coffee or if you're it's later in the day maybe you got you a, a, a beverage some type of a refreshing beverage watching the sun go down beautiful weather having fun uh, and if you're at work grinding i hope this gets you fired up and you get after it today and make it happen uh, but regardless i really appreciate the listens like this video subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter we're going to be back here every single day we're going to be here on the fourth we're going to be here all week just digging in, getting after it, uh, and having some fun. So I really appreciate it. Guys, uh, have a great week, and we'll catch you back tomorrow. This is another episode of the Top Button Podcast. Stay button. Thanks for listening, and drive home safely.